Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another daily video. Um, I haven't done an update of my current progression in quite a long time. I just wanted to show you guys something because I actually made a new toy yesterday. And this is my Dark Yaksha that I actually I, I recently raised to level 60. Uh, recently was able to get her to, to evil 3 because of the Yaksha fusion within the... Um, the 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 rab rabbital event. Um, I was actually able to get another Yaksha from here, and I did actually summon a few Yakshas from Hero Fest. Basically, just enough for me to make her Evil Three. So she is Evil Three now, and I currently have her on HP HP defense on Conviction set. Um, the, unfortunately, I. I actually, right before the video, I prepared like, about 3 million gold to upgrade all my gems to plus 15, um, but I was actually unable to do so. This one is plus 15, but um, this one and this one are only plus 14. So I do have, I, I think, decently high, um, yeah, decently high resistance, um, you know, 1% away from max. I think it's, it's good enough. I mean, I could have gotten like just 1% more roll or something like that that would have been that wouldn't actually been really great maybe on this gem or something like that but um it's al almost already like it's already almost the highest roll so i think it's pretty good not not too much to complain about um i decided to build her full tanky to actually use her for a different purpose now a lot of people that use the dark yasha actually do build her with um using by making her like either a hybrid attacker or you know like full glass cannon or something like that um, her stat distribution actually mostly goes into HP and attack. Um, I would say more HP than attack, but she also has a decent amount of defense and um, some of it went into recovery, which is a little bit unfortunate. She does start with 0% base resist because she is dark, but I did actually get... Uh, well, she only has 24% crit rate, which, is, which isn't too good because she is a dark monster. I would have liked to have like crit rate um, on all the substats. That would have been really, really awesome. But anyways, I did manage to get pretty high resistance on a lot of these gems. This one has 21% resist, this one has 26%, uh, and this one has um, 17%. Actually, this one's not too good. This one, if it rolled one more time into resist, I would have like max resist. But I, I guess it's good enough. 84 is, isn't uh, too far from 85. It's literally just 1% off. And yeah, she's a monster that has a very, very unique heal. She has a 100% chance to heal allies HP by 10% so she basically is like a passive healer but instead of healing for her own HP she heals for the allies amount of HP that's why I decided to give one defense gem on her to try to make her um, a little bit tanky if her heal scaled with her own HP I would be I would definitely be building like triple triple D or triple HP on her um, she also has a 60% silence which isn't isn't too good but it's not too important um, she's mostly here for this this uh really cool adrenaline heal and we're gonna actually do some tests in um, TVP now the reason the main reason why I raised her was to help me in autoing a lot of my PvP battles so we're gonna go down and see like if there's any um, like full level 60 teams something like this so uh, the trick is what I wanted to do is I wanted to put in my dark Cupid with my two dark Mihos now my dark Cupid is um, does have an HP lead and he is on um, Actually, I, I didn't feed that fire cupid into him yet. Maybe I should. I don't know if I don't know how much money it cost because I I literally used all my gold to uh to upgrade my um, my Yaksha's gems just now. So I I'm completely broke. But I should be able to feed this fire cupid into him. Actually, wait, I don't have enough money. Well, maybe if I sell a few shitty gems, I'll have money. Alright, what's a shitty gem? Is this a shitty gem? Do you guys think this is a shitty gem? It's got resist, crit damage, recovery, and defense. I mean, it could it could be like a super high resist gem. Fuck it. It only, ha it only got 7% roll on that, and the crit damage roll is kind of shitty. I would almost treat that as a flat stat for that gem. What about... Oh, what about some of these like crit rate ruin gems? Some of these, some some of my crit rate ruin gems are pretty bad. Like this. What is this? This is just uh, this is just sad. It's got a recovery and flat attack. I think it needs to go. All right, I think that's enough gold. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, 
this um, Fire Cupid has a level 5 lead. This Wood Cupid also has a level 5 lead. Wait a minute. Wait, why would I need to feed the Fire Cupid in if I could just feed this Wood Cupid? Alright, wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna feed him that Wood Cupid. It'll give me uh 3% more uh more HP on his leader skill, which I think is kind of worth it, in my opinion. I mean it's almost the max leader, right? It's a level five lead. Yeah, the, the next best best thing is a level six lead. I'm probably not gonna get a level six lead. Why did I level this Cupid though? I can't remember. But yeah, I'd, I'd rather keep the fire one than the wood one. All right, this now my my Cupid does have a level five lead. Okay, we're we're, we're going in now. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to auto with this team. Um, we're just gonna fight like people who have le full level 60 teams. And what I'm trying to do is, you know, since my Cupid has the has the HP lead, I was actually thinking of upgrading his gems as well. I'm probably gonna spend the next few days doing a little bit of um, golden gem farming to upgrade her gem. First of all, I need to upgrade her gems to max, and then I'm gonna upgrade his gems uh, or upgrade like t replace two of his gems with some better ones because I have some much better. Um, HP gems that I can give them to make them even stronger than than right now. And I'm going with my two Dark Mihos. Now one of my Dark Mihos is pretty good. The other one's kind of a little bit sad. Um, one of them has very very high resist. This is my this is my Ruin one, but she yeah she has like really low crit rate, it's like 70 something crit rate. Um, but this one has like 90% crit rate with like really high resist. Like that one has. That one has a uh, 23%, this one has 31, and then this one has 22% resist. So she actually has pretty high resist. And I was I was going to go with this team, and these two are gen with uh, crit rate double HP, and he is gen with triple HP, and she's gen with double HP defense. So the, the thing I wanted to try is I wanted to get a passive healer that is able to heal up a H defense, or not a, not a defense, um, an HP aggressor team with an HP lead. And I... I'm planning to just use this to like auto a lot of my um, PvP battles so I don't have to like full auto it like I don't have to focus anything just to make it more stable because of her heals. She heals for that Cupid for quite a lot. It's, uh, it's like it's like a 13k heal on the Dark Cupid every turn. There's a 10k heal on the two uh, two Mihos. Now I also think she does a decent amount of damage because she has pretty nice uh pretty nice base base attack. Like she's she's got pretty nice stats, I think. Interestingly, my Cupid never had to use his shield, although he should have. Um, th these aren't too strong. I guess this one's alright. I mean, the problem with going full auto is usually, like, if you're fighting teams that actually have a nuker, and they also have light units, um, your, my whole, like, my full dark team is gonna focus the light units, while this, uh, Fire Leo is gonna be pounding away on my team if I'm going full auto. So I think the, like, if I d didn't have this passive heal, uh, there's a chance that my Miho or something could die. Same thing with the Gatito situation as well. Like the Tito's going to be hitting, hitting my guys pretty damn hard. All right, the silence is not too bad, and then it did bring me under a uh, ten percent HP. The Cupid's going to do a heal, and then she's going to also heal a bit as well. And then with a the shield up, um, plus them healing for ten percent of their HP every single turn. I think I'll be able to sustain myself for the rest of the fight. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good strategy. And she actually has higher effective HP than the Mihos because she's, she's um, gen with double HP defense. So she's also very, very tanky. And she has all, near max resist as well. 
there's nothing really worth fighting here. I'll refresh the list. See if there's any like full level 60 teams. I'm currently a little bit low on my rankings. I guess this is a much stronger team. This one's got a Light Succubus, Persephone, Cura, and, and Nightmare. This could be a this might be a problem, but I'm gonna see if I can uh, I can f just full auto this because that's that's what I'm planning to do with this team. I'm I'm trying to make a team that can like I don't have to click anything or or uh, you know I don't have to click focus anything. I just uh, leave it and see if they can full auto. All right, nice resist, perfect. Oh my god, that. She didn't resist the seal with her 84% resist. Sad life. Good thing is, uh, oh shit, I was, I was about to say, good thing is my Cupid has his, uh, his shield up. So we're about to win this. But apparently not. She does do a decent amount of damage though, if you think about it. I should do a, do a damage test comparison on the next fight. See how much damage she does. Like for someone built full tank, she's pretty tanky and also deals a little bit of damage. Hmm, this seems excellent. I, I I like it. I like this team. All right. Um. I think if I wanted to make it more stable, I would I should actually gem up my third Miho on a conviction set and then have it like max resist because I, I tried putting her on defense as well. I wanted to see if uh, she can do anything on defense. Well we're all we're all level sixties. These guys are only evil too. Um let's do let's do some damage test on uh, on golems. Or maybe I have a conviction set. Let's see if I can uh I can gem up my third, third dark me who, who who's currently ungemmed. I was thinking if I could put a conviction set on her, she might have max resist, like uh, a crit rate, crit rate gem with high resist. This one only has seven percent. This one has six percent. This one is 8%. I'm going to have to level some of them. I'm, I'm going to have to like uh, boost up some of them to see if I can get higher resist on some of them. On, on some of these gems. Oh shit, I took all the uh, took all the HP triangles. She took all the HP triangles. Alright, that's not going to work. This would have been excellent. Actually no, this one would have been excellent. This one had a uh, High resist, high crit rate. It would have been excellent on on the uh, the Miho as well. Maybe a life set. Maybe maybe I can get really high resist on a life set. Best I got is this. It's not that good actually. I mean, this one's got resist and crit rate. It has potential. I'm gonna have to upgrade some gems to see if I can uh, I can put anything together. I have some pretty strong triangle ones though. Like this one's pretty good. This one is 16% resist, but this one's insanely strong. Like this is a actually no, this isn't this isn't the insanely strong one. I think it was a square one that was really good. That was gonna replace on my on my cupid. Um, it had like resist and defense and everything, and it all rolled into a. Uh, it all rolled into the, uh, yeah, this one. It was this one. It, ha it had defense, resist, and it rolled four times into the flat HP on an HP percent life set, and also had crit rate. I was planning on putting this on on my uh, Dark Cupid. What if I use the protection set? But none of my protection has really high resist either. I mean this. This other one, Intuition, has 16% resist. But I'm missing a diamond HP with high resist. 
Best I got is like this, but it has no resist. It has high defense, but it has like no resist at all. And then um, I think I have some I have some crit rate gems with pretty high resist. I think it's currently being used by my Dark Gatito. Ooh, this is an attack with 24% resist. Yeah, it was a crit rate gem with 23% resist. It also has defense, which is pretty good. Oh damn, why'd you why did she use up all my HP HP uh triangle conviction gems? It would have been nice to put up a, another Miho on, on conviction set with like good crit rate subs. And then I just run these two. And then run her. Alright, let's go do a damage test. Let's try her try her out in like uh E10 and stuff, you know, monster spotlight style. Uh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to run. Armor break. I mean, I can silence the boss. I don't really need a healer. But I do need a light tank, though. I could use this. I need to bring a sapper. If I want to kill the boss fast. And then she can serve as a passive heal. It's a little bit sad my Chin's variant skill is only level 2. I want I want to do a, like a damage test. Cuz without with like with her only uh It's like 7 hits. Yeah, she does a lot of hits. That's also one of her advantages. The Yaksha's do a lot of hits. So in in PVP she's generating a lot of blue souls. Like look at look at how many blue souls she generates when I hit something. It's like four blue souls over here, floating above her head. I really like this monster. She's she's really good. She's a she's a really nice, uh, really unique skill set as well. I mean, the silence is all right. It doesn't really do much, but you know, a lot of the actives in this game don't really do much. But her her like passive heal is insanely good. Plus, she's generating a lot of blue souls whenever she attacks. But the, the thing is, she's only good on a full, like, HP tank team. Alright, the other thing I want to try is, like, if I use her with my, like, Wood Nightmare, we can make some really cancerous shit happen. I mean, boss can't even wipe ten percent of her my max HP. She'll basically just solo this. All right, it, it wasn't a good B10 run, but I was just I wanted to test out her damage a little bit. Hello. The next thing I wanted to try is uh, I want to try using her with my uh, my wood nightmare. See how all that works. Oh nice, I got an egg. Alright, so... We got 41 seconds, so I might as well just throw, throw, throw her against some random team. I guess the best we got is this one. So instead of using the second Miho, I think this one is the one on the uh, Ruin set. Is it? I think this one's the one on the Intuition. Alright, this one's the one I need to use. And then I'll use the uh, the Wood Nightmare. I mean, if I use this to auto, it should be extremely stable. But it'll also be a lot slower. 
But I have my current um, defense team set up like this, so I kind of want to see what they can do. I mean, she's hitting that Venus for like 3k a hit. She does like 7 hits, which is quite a lot of damage. If she does crit, the base crit damage makes her do do quite a lot. Ooh, the, the, uh, the armor break OP. Well, my nightmare almost uh almost max healed herself. Her her second skill does a lot of hits as well, so it's like generating a lot of blue souls. I mean, I think higher up in in the uh, in the ranks, I can use this team to auto when I'm climbing. It's kind of sad how how like little uh, HP this nightmare has. Her base HP is really really low, even for a nat five. All right, see if we have any level sixty teams. Uh, this is kind of sad. All right, best we got is uh, is this is this one. Um, they got a lot of evil two nat nat fives. The other thing I wanted to try is if I use my Dark Sea Star, but I think it's not going to be as effective because my Sea Star is built on, like, it's a defense aggressor, so it doesn't have a lot of HP. It's only going to heal for, wait, it's only going to heal for 3.4k a turn. I don't think this can sustain my Dark Sea Star, it's not, I don't think it's going to work too well. I mean, I could, I could run it as an experiment. But in theory, it shouldn't work very well because, um... I'm barely healing anything. Yeah, she's taking a lot of damage, but she's only going to heal for 10% of her HP back, which is like to over here. Yeah, she's only healing for 4.5 because of the, uh, it's slightly higher because of the Cupid's leader skill. That's why she works so well. She works really well with the Cupid. Damn, like the that crit damage, that base crit damage is actually really really strong. Plus her base attack, if she does actually manage to land crits, uh, it does it does quite a lot of damage. And she does have a one out of four chance because she has like twenty five percent chance to land crits. So when she does actually crit, it it, it does a lot of damage. Alright, the Sea Star is not too good. I guess the best is just to use like HP Aggressors. We could also try triple HP Aggressors, but this guy doesn't have a lot of defense. I mean, it's 2.4 actually, it's not, it's not too bad. It's actually... I mean, he's got so much HP, plus the HP lead. It actually might make him pretty effective. If you think about it that way. Yeah, she's healing her for uh, 12k every single turn. Oh, you know what would be really disgusting? Is if I have the Light Shiva and I built her full tanky and I left her beside the Light Shiva, the Shiva would be healing for 30% of his max HP every single turn. I think I just thought of this insanely like impossible to counter defense team. Is if I had two Light Shivas built all on triple HP Pugilist, and um, I had her like built full tanky like the way I have her right now and I just leave it like this and then um, if you fight me on offense you basically have to invest and, I, and then I put another HP lead like a uh, like a uh, dark cupid or something like that and then um, basically you have to invest in trying to kill my light shiva because if you don't what's gonna happen is like at least one of them is gonna get their aoe's off and it's gonna kill your dark nukers so like i think that will counter like dark nukers teams really really hard if i had her with like two light shivas but i don't even have one right now i think that's pretty much it we we got nothing really to hit i mean this guy's level 52 i think fire valk is actually gaining a lot of popularity these days as well um 
people finally realize how strong this morale boost is. Although her stats are still pretty shitty. You know this like Coco team actually seems pretty strong. I wish I could get a light Jean and then just run that instead. That would be insane. Yeah, that max resist is, is definitely helping a lot. And she does so many hits, like she generates so many blue souls, it's it's really OP. She does 7 hits on her first skill. It's like one of the most uh, blue soul generation you can get. Maybe I'll use this to auto everything. The Coco's not very good because the Coco doesn't have a lot of resist, so he can get a uh, he gets stunned and stuff pretty easily. But there's not too many dark CC monsters now that you think about it, because uh, like how should I say this? Yeah, m almost all the rebirth monsters that are dark have no like strong debuffs on their first skill. Except for a few, like Dark Victoria, but then who who runs that on defense anyways? Like, most people, if they actually do run a Dark Monster on defense, is either, like, Phibian, or, uh, sometimes they hide a Mona or Gatito. That does actually work as well. Yeah, she does quite a lot of damage, like, did you see that? It's pretty, it's not, it's pretty significant. Dang, we're at, we're at a level 60 to fight. I don't know where else I could use her. I think it's mostly for PvP. But we're going to try her out. I'm going to leave her on defense. If you guys ever see me, um, hit my defense and try it out. See if she's any good. But I think once I get Light Shiva, it'll be really, really sick. Because I can... Uh... I don't even know what... What the f what the heck am I gonna do with a light shiva? Like where where am I gonna put that? All oh, my defense. I need to hide the C star. Actually, the C star is very bad on my defense, but the C star has like insanely good gems. Like this C star's gems are like beyond godlike. Um, this one actually has really really strong gems as well. Actually, the Nightmare has pretty shitty gems, but her she's actually on a Pugilist set. But it doesn't matter because she's not going to get hit. She has like 50% resist, which is pretty low, but um, nobody's going to hit her first anyways. And even if they do, it doesn't matter because she's like really tanky. She's a, she's a Nat 5 defender type monster. Um, I don't know. I, I I don't know what she can do. I I don't. I, I mean, if I had, if I actually did get a light Shiva, I would probably have to take her out and put put in the Shiva, because these, all four of these can't be replaced. But I think currently this is pretty good. Oh, we got another, or almost all level sixty. There's a lot of nukers on this team as well. But yeah, I'm hoping like this team can uh, auto like 90% of the battles, and I think it should be able to because my old team's already pretty stable at autoing. But I think I, I, if I can use this and just auto like my way to Heroes 1 for like 90% of the fights, I don't need to win every single fight, but if I just win like, you know, almost all the fights, then it'll be good enough. And then I can just leave it and uh, don't have to worry about it, come back and then, you know, find myself slightly closer to Heroes 1. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the, this is my this is my daily uh, daily update showcasing my new toy, my my new dark dark Yaksha. I'm extremely happy with her. Uh, I'll I'll be doing a spotlight of my um, my Evil Three Indra very very soon once I do actually max out his gems. 
So I'm, I'm a little bit short on gold right now. I don't have a lot of gems to uh, to use. I need to first of all, I need to max out her gems, and then I need to replace some of my Cupid's gems. I'm thinking of taking this one out because this one has no uh, resist at all, and I'm going to put in the this one which has 16% resist. So it will actually add 16% more to what he currently has right now, which will give him um, 70. 77% resist. Yeah, 77. And then I will... Um, and then I'll remove this one as well. So this one has 9%, but this one has a... Uh, this one has a uh, only 7%. So I'll, I'll, I'll have 70... 75. Yeah, 75 resist after I replace this gem with this one. But then he would have a lot more HP because this one has like 3k more HP than this. Well, actually, only has this one is 700, but it also has crit rate and defense. So basically, my my cube is going to be tankier. He's going to have much higher resist, and uh, you know this I can lose a little bit of HP here because this is this is the flat amount here. But he also gets a little bit of crit damage as well, so it's not too bad. It's mostly for this. Um, I mean, this this thing has defense. I lose five percent defense, but I I basically gain sixteen percent resist, which is definitely a worthy trade off. And you also you also get twenty percent crit damage, which doesn't really matter because he doesn't really have any crit. But if he does, it means he'll be slightly doing more damage. So I I, I guess that's good as well. But yeah, I need to upgrade the Yaksha, then Cupid, and then I'll upgrade the Indra, and then I can I can spotlight him after that. So anyways, um, back to sliming, back to farming. I'll th thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.